every single day is a day closer to your death. Hello, beautiful people of my second channel. Today we're going to talk about how you can decenter the opposite sex from your life. And because I have a primary female audience, we will be seeing men a lot. So men, please don't get angry if I forget to say women. We're talking about men mainly. Uh, before we continue, the Trover trip is out. If you want to travel with me to Bali, the early bird spot sold out in eight hours. So if you want to travel with a like-minded community and with me to Bali next year, go sign up before they're sold out. Additionally, Triple S Society, my private community, best community in the world, will be launching soon. So if you've ever dreamed of receiving more content from me, private coaching, learning how to make money, branding, everything, everything in this brain of mine, sign up to the waiting list. It's going to be a very exclusive community that you will want to be a part of. How to decenter men. I really had to think about this because quite frankly, I've never ever ever been one to have my life revolve around having a boyfriend or, or just like liking a man at the time. And you know why? It's because I really like my life. And then when I'm sad, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I could have a husband right now. But other than that, when I'm normal and I'm happy, I really don't crave one. I don't crave a partner, I'm so content. That is literally the secret. It is having a fulfilling life. So many people, they're empty, they hate their jobs, they hate their life, they hate their friends. And because of that, they look to this mystical soulmate that perhaps can exist in the world to fix all their problems. That's why they also get attached. Anytime someone fits a little bit of the characteristics they want, or they make them feel good when they hate their life, suddenly this person is your savior. For me, no one's my savior because I built this whole life on my own. I made my life good that no man can come in and take this away from me. I don't need a man to come in and make it better. But if I were to have a partner, he needs to make that better. And that's also why I don't get attached easily. I don't date crappy people. I really date creme de la creme. We're gonna talk about this in private community but you really need to think do you like your life do you have good friends are you satisfied do you live an exciting life the answer is probably no if you are so focused on the opposite sex as well you're filling a void you want them to fill it for you oh my life is so boring i hate my job oh but maybe if i have a partner to come home to i will like my life more my life is so boring. I need a toxic partner so I can have a little bit of excitement in my day because the most exciting part of my day is probably fighting with my partner. Some people are really addicted to toxicity. This is where self-awareness comes in. You need to identify immediately why do you feel this way? What is the root? And I truly think eight times out of 10, it's gonna be because you at home, you are not happy with your life. Most people, they're not satisfied. The moment you enjoy your life, you enjoy what you've built, you won't crave someone else coming to rescue you. That's just gonna be like the cherry on top. Like, wow, whenever they come in, it's gonna be, be amazing, but I'm not gonna actively go and seek them out. Like how I operate is I truly believe in manifestation. And I know that like my ideal partner is going to come into my life whenever the universe wants. The type of guys I date, creme de la creme, I'm telling you, we talk about it in the private community. So many girls, if they knew like the types of guys I date or like even their net worth, but I'm not a gold digger because I have my own money, that's another thing. They would be like, you're crazy not to date them. I would dream of a partner like this. Yeah, because you're not filled with yourself. Let's also talk about another thing. You know these sheer seven girls, uh, Mina, the universe, coach, or whatever. I actually really like some of the things they say, but I think they preach too much being financially dependent on a man. Even HRH Collection, she says, if you're ugly, get surgery so you can attract a, a rich man. If you do that, you're not gonna have love. Maybe you don't want love, but I think in this life, it would be nice to have that. <laughs> Secondly, you need to be at least a little bit financially independent, have a backup there. Otherwise, dude, what happens if you marry a man, okay, he's rich, he has money, he's taking care of you, but he's abusing you, he's cheating on you, you can't even leave. You have no job, no skills, no savings, nothing. You're literally trapped. Especially if you have no experience being independent, of course you're gonna crave a man to come in and save you. Because even me, I'm very successful. I really don't need a rich man to come save me because honey, I am a rich man, you know? That's why I can turn down so many people. Anyways, because of this, because I'm not like desperate, for example, financial resources, that I also have the capacity to turn these people down, to keep my standards high. If you have nothing going for you, you hate your life, you're gonna be so fucking energetically desperate 
for anyone to come rescue you. Okay, this guy is rich and I'm broke, but he beats me up. Okay, let's stay with him. Do you see how you trap yourself like that? What do you take away from this video? Build yourself up. Build a life you like. Make friends with people you like. You don't like your friends. Who says you need to stay with them? Go find more people. I'm moving to Dubai in January. Do you know how many people I know there? Pretty much no one. Very, very, very few people. You know what my plan is to go meet people? Go to every event. I really put myself out there. Use Bumble friends. I reach out to people. I follow people. Oh, I see they're in Dubai. I message on Instagram. Every avenue. What is your excuse? We have a phone. We can go on now. Access the whole entire world. Your mental health sucks. I don't know, get therapy. Use my better help link. Not even sponsored. Thirdly, thirdly, you hate your job. Get a new job. Oh, Simone, but it's really not that simple. I know, I know. Learn skills then, which will enable you to either provide for yourself, start your own business, which will never be easy, by the way, but ultimately rewarding one day, or two, get skills which will enable you to get a better job. Overall, you need to build a life you're proud of. Life is happening every single minute, you know. I talked about this in another video, but you cannot constantly be yearning for the future. You book a trip because you hate your present and you want to look forward every day to that trip in eight months. Life is moving by you. Every single day is a day closer to your death, for real. You want to enjoy every single day, not just wait for that trip in eight months time. Not just wait for that potential partner that's one day gonna come into your life. If you are not desperate, you like your life, you're gonna pick better partners as well. You will know what you deserve innately. You can cut people off so easily. I've had friends in the past who really, they had such a bad life. They kind of played the victim. They never wanted to improve or do anything to improve. I'm not friends with them now. But these were the types of people who would jump from relationships as well because men, women, they were such a focal point in their life. They did not know how to be alone. Being able to be alone is such a power. It also shows you like yourself, you like your company, yeah, you like your life. My friends now who are similar to me, they live amazing lifestyles, they're wealthy, they're successful. They don't date as much as a normal person. They don't have men or women centered in their life and that's not to say you should not be dating i collect data all the time i call it collecting data but yeah i date a lot and i love it but i don't go into it going i need a partner i need a partner desperate energy i believe he's just gonna come whenever the universe wants it to happen because it do i don't need it to happen now or tomorrow there's no urgency i love my life i love my freedom also know this if you know one day you're going to be married you're gonna have kids you will not have the same freedom that you have now. Would you enjoy your life if God or the universe or whoever you believe in says to you, hello, Carrie, on October 3rd, 2032, you're gonna meet your soulmate and be married for 40 years. Carrie, what are you gonna do? Carrie, are you gonna go sit at home and wait for him? Oh my God, I can't wait till Benjamin comes into my life. Or are you gonna go live your life right now have fun knowing that he's on the way to you in nine years <laughs> have fun now also i remember when i was in a relationship when i was 19 absolutely clueless and i would wake up in the morning and my entire mood was dependent on my boyfriend if he didn't say good morning to me good night didn't text me throughout the day oh my god i would be pissed it would ruin my whole day i'm so scared of that now i learned all my lessons from my first relationship and when I was with him when I was 19, I did not have a life. My life was literally him and YouTube. I didn't have that many friends. I didn't have hobbies. I didn't do anything. I was so young and naive. After that breakup, I radically transformed. I knew I had to build a life. I did. And I completely took away the power of another person being able to control my emotions. I dictate my emotions now. You, your actions cannot make me upset for more than a day, <laughs> dependent on the situation. Also food for thought. If you're allowing someone to really ruin your day and they're doing it a lot, is it even worth having that person in your life? And I would never ever date someone that's able to make me that miserable again. When you're happy with yourself, the other person, that they have to be a plus, an addition into your life. You're already full, right? Sure, there's like maybe a little bit of room for them, but you're already majority full. You are happy, you're fulfilled, you like your life. Now imagine someone that does not like their life. Let's say, they're like half full now. Now they're so empty. They just want anyone to come, try to fit them in, even if they're not gonna fit. They might not even make them full, but they made them 10% more full 
now they feel, oh, well, this feeling's better than what I felt previously, so let's keep them in my life. Also, I just want to add before I forget, yes, if you do not have a life, you're going to be bored, which means you're going to have more time to ruminate about a man or a woman and miss them or like yearn for one. And if you've never ever been alone before in your life, you've never been single, you don't know how to be alone. You need that time to grow into yourself, to discover yourself. I know this girl, she came out of a marriage. Pretty much even before the divorce, she got into another relationship. She doesn't even like this man. She's trapped now because she's not financially stable. She doesn't have any female friends. She doesn't like her life. She's like all over the place. So she only has this man to hang on to. That's the trap. Think about it, Pookie. I've gone on a little bit of a rant. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to sign up for the Triple S community. Launch date, November 30th. Get on the waiting list now. We're going to vet everyone. It's very exclusive. Get on the waiting list now. And go sign up for the Trova trip. Okay, hilly bitty. Tschüss.